people who are interested in cricket, most popular sport across, or any sporting event, or people like me who have been working in infrastructure projects, even though I did not have work, 15 days I had to be inside. My work, my work was only for one day. 15 days before, one week before, I salute myself after the work is over. So, one month gone for my one day's work. This, we all called it. Remember? Bio bubble. Six Indian players penalized for breaking the bio bubble during the IPL in Dubai. You remember? All of you? So, now, come back to this. What is the bio bubble? I ensured that everything I need in a cricket team will stay together, will not get in touch with anybody else, so that I am not infected, my teammate is not infected, I am not infecting anyone of them. Agreed? That is bio bubble, no? Now, that's interesting. Let us think. Number one, as engineers, just now he talked about artificial intelligence, machine learning, put these things into a larger platform, not just a beam junction, beam, beam call and junction. Be it a campus, be it a village, be it a cluster of industry, cluster of carbon positive, carbon reduction, carbon zero or a carbon negative in any combination, make them into a group. Try to achieve zero there. That is what I use the word cluster more often. But just before this presentation, I wanted to give a nice title which makes. So I arrived at the word bubble. Put an effort to control elimination, eliminate or emission of carbon in this cluster. So, net effect will be there. But apart from the eliminating, add productive or a system of plants, recycled material into the system that you get carbon credits from nowhere. Then harvest water, recycle water, once you quantify how much you are harvesting, you get your carbon credits. Maximize the production of renewable energy. This is a cluster. You need not think how much it costs for entire Tamil Nadu state. I have to look at how many windmills I can insert in this campus. I have to look out how many lamp posts are there. Each lamp post to have one uh, solar panel. So total consumption, you will go through the electricity, electrical department, calibrate what is, what is the total consumption. That is, that is taken out, finished. Work towards water positive. Now, if you are in a rainy, rain bound area, try to get more water from you and put it to the next bubble. Send it to the next bubble. Who is water deficient? So, whatever they save there will be credited to you as carbon credit. Avoid unnecessary import of basic amenities. When you create this bubble, use your intelligence, ensure that everything is available there or improve this. The best example for this, all of you are seeing a lot of YouTube videos, blogs about the road or the barrier that Saudi Arabia is building in desert. Not even a drop of water taken from anywhere. They are absorbing water from desert atmosphere. The entire power is generated within. That is what people are talking about, avoid unnecessary travel across the bubble for routine work. No point, I stay in this bubble for my residence, I go and work in that bubble. So that kind of a thing, so minimize energy consumption. How do we do this? One example, let us combine transport, construction and manufacture. Any instinctive idea you got? Shri Parambadur, you have got a very good manufacturing hub here. It is connected by very big highways and 
manufacturer needs highways. When both are there, you need construction to come up. Ideal situation, what happens? Number one, transportation should decentralize itself in terms of the type of vehicles used. No point in taking my 20 ton truck for every site to dump seven bags of cement. This is normally the practice in India. The dealer has got a certain capacity of truck. He goes to the factory godown, brings, and the that truck goes all around the places dumping five bags, ten bags, seven bags. Is it necessary? Can't it be changed? So you should have a bifurcation of vehicles which consume less diesel, less fuel, but do the work. So the fuel consumption per delivery should be worked out. Then construction, yes, I will make my environment clean. I will try to use minimum uh, trips. I will try to reduce waste. I will try to reduce water. Apart from that, the construction can come to transportation industries and say, I will repair and make these roads more stable so that the fuel consumed by your vehicles by traveling smoothly on this road will reduce. That is what I say, come out of your well and work. The manufacturing industry, yes. Now, I accept you delivering me my small goods in a small vehicle, invariable things into my, and I will supply my finished products to a central location where big trucks are parked. This is something that we have to work out. These are the points that I told you. Apart from this, this can be, whatever I have written in the bottom, can be a common feature in each of these bubbles. Have facilities and services, amenities, everything within the, maximize, maximize the utilization of open spaces for multiple and effective uses. Don't try to over cluster things. Right? Then, which... In India, mostly we are doing, but still, we can think further. Then, plant productive and efficient trees. Just because somebody planted a date plant, everywhere in India, I am seeing date plant. In road barriers. It doesn't give share, it is, and it spreads the root superficial. Good <coughs> for an arid, desertic <coughs> climate. Why I should plant? There are natively grown plants which were rugged for this climate. I have thrown them out of my system. So, and when you plant trees inside, thing, give some plants or trees that are productive. They give something which either financially or socially or by mental peace, give something back to the community. Instead of planting, uh, planting unwanted plants, you can plant a few dozens of uh, mango trees. On one fine day, you give that one box of mangoes, freshly plucked mangoes to each family in the community. The community feels one. And they think that, yes, so and so, why not put this also into my system? I plant three trees in, within my camp, uh, compound. So these are things that can be... Now, this is becoming simpler. Now, if I want to put this system entirely into Chennai, is it possible? No. This area says no, that area says no. Another area says yes. And this is what I call, and the best thing is, handling one ton of domestic waste is very easy. A 40 by 60 feet plot can recycle entire domestic waste of one ton per day easily. When this becomes five tons, it becomes complex. Because this so at source, you can make a small community to segregate their waste, wet waste, dry waste, uh, recyclable waste, <coughs> and do this. Similarly, you can have a cluster where transportation, construction, electricity and buildings. This is an area where 
electric uh, producing units are there, right? Thermal power plant, hydel plants, there. You can put these things together, ask them to contribute individually as well as influence the others. I will tell you, just by giving good roads to this country, good roads to this country, a civil engineer can reduce carbon footprint of India by almost 28%. Just by giving good roads. I will not say which type of road. Good roads. If you go to CRRI research, it says concrete road is fuel efficient. It has got a data of huge number of vehicles. I was stunned to see the data they have got across the country, across the number of vehicles, across the type of vehicles and everything. And the net carbon footprint over a period of 20 years of a concrete road is lesser. But there is an evolution that has to take place. If I have to build concrete road, I have to spend almost two times or two and a quarter times of money that I spent for a bitumen road. I have to balance. List. In an administrative area, you have a transport, you have construction, manufacture. This is administrative area like my bubble, I will make it more after having a cluster of bubble, I will make an overall bubble for a district. I can look at these things now. Well, on the other hand, if I go to a smaller revenue system in a rural background, only these people will come. The best, I will tell you, is the agriculture sector where you will you can, by giving them the right kind of suggestion, make them almost 75% carbon negative. <coughs> so, what is going on? We need to change. Yes, I need to come out of the well number one. I need to change the way I think. So, what are all things that I have to change? I have to change my thought process. No one in this world, irrespective of experience, fame or anything, has come with everything that he has got in one day. He was a baby someday, walking with a diaper, and he is whatever he is today. So, let me admit, if I have achieved something in life, it doesn't mean that I am great. It means... I have a responsibility of communicating how, why I achieved something to my younger generation. It is more of a duty of me as an individual to communicate what failures I face, why I face and what did I do to overcome it. So the thought process has to change. Then. We have to get into a healthy lifestyle. I don't say go to jogging, do dieting and all these things. Dieting at my age is for a different reason. That's where it is different. But healthy life means not to... I would... I did not have wanted to use the word civic sensitive life. I go to a shop. This is the shop I have to go. Six two-wheelers parked there. I will not drive another 15 meters, park my scooter there. I will park my scooter all across the 5 people. Go, take my own time. If that surveillance has seen you and says, please remove your sir, 5 minutes. These are simple things that we do. Simple things. But these simple things make a lot of difference when you change this. Then... Social behavior in consumption, <coughs> don't put your plate, don't hesitate, don't be shy. If you want to take a second scoop of your food, don't shy. It is your stomach, it is your body, it is your requirement. I honestly said, morning, madam asked me, what, what did you have for dinner? I said, I overshot my diet. Sabzi was good, I had... Only after the bill came, I came to know that I have eaten six pulkas. Oh, you enjoy your life here. But whatever you put in your plan, pay, don't waste it. Similarly, everything in life. 
energy conscious. How many of you have got the habit of going and switching off light when you quit a room? Good numbers. How many of you go ensure that your younger brother or an elderly grandparent's room also you visit before leaving? The numbers reduce. It is not, it is my house here. Total income of my own. If my father says few hundred rupees, he will buy me a pizza next weekend, no? This is what life is. I, I had a very good friend, a very senior architect. His name was Shankar Kanade. Very famous architects for alternative building materials and alternative construction technology. The age difference between me and him was 37 years. We were friends, we were talking in singulars. He was a bachelor, his bro brother was also a bachelor. They used to get food in the afternoon and evening. Evening around 5.36, the, one of the <coughs> members of the cook's family used to keep the food here and go. They had a pressure cooker at home. They used to warm the food. Immediately after taking the food, he used to close the lid. After eating, put the spoon in that hot, warm water. He said, I was always wondering, Shankar, what is this you are doing? What? After all, no, Nagesh, I am not worried about the water. I know water I am not. But the heat will take away the oil from my spoon. I will be using lesser detergent to wash my vessels. Thereby, I am polluting the water less. This is called imbibing energy conscious social behavior within yourself. You do this for 21 days, it becomes a practice for you. You explain the reason in the best possible way, your mom says, I am proud of you. <coughs> Eco-responsibility, right from planting a tree, covering the shade of your window in the summer so that you consume less on your AC and fan, trying to open the window and putting it on the shade so that you get wind but not light, heat, these things. I mean, I am telling you these small things. Imagine, India is a population of 1.150 crores. Each one person, if he says one unit of cup power every day, 150 crore units of electricity every day, which is three times the electric power consumed by many countries in Europe. You save it in one day. I am not joking. These are practically possible by simple changes in our life. Now comes what is your responsibility and the faculty's responsibility here. Research approach right from UG level. Right from UG level. Don't think UG people are small. Let them do something and get out. No. They are equally capable. Every individual born out in this world is a one in million character. Please remember that. Community involvement of education system. Not I am talking, not talking about community education system. The involvement of education system in the community. What are you giving back to the people, the society, the geography around your college campus? This was the slide which gave me, once we saw this, this was my first slide in my rear. Uh, test to get my certification. This slide I presented, all the three examiners said, Nagesh, you can close. The moment I showed this, they said, I think if you have to get these titles, you have done the work. So you can close. My exam, I got my certification in one and a half minute. So, straight, but how? All students, faculty members, scope of awareness, social work and research. 
I need your attention here. Anybody who wants to attempt in this direction, I am there with you to cooperate. One, how do I create awareness? Most of you have college press. You have poster computation. You have video computation, photography computation. How many of you have given a theme of making a communication to the common person, common people? Poster on water wastage is the theme which gives all the inputs for a human being. Water, some in India at least, people don't realize. Even uh, except for people in few districts of Karnataka, I have seen, few districts of Maharashtra, I have seen, the entire Rajasthan state, I have seen, they are very conscious about water. All others we don't consider. Saving electricity at your home, switch off your bulbs every time you get out of the house. One hour of switching of the bulb will so give you so much. One month it will give you save you so much of money. That one month saving, even if it is 20 rupees, it prompts 20 families out of 30 you go to do that. India is a land of uh, discounts and uh, money cash back. You say, Kurtas available at flat 15% discount. The Kurtas will be sold out in 3 days. 45% to 50% of those Kurtas purchased will be people who are already having a cupboard full of Kurtas at home. Just to end cash on that 15%, we go and buy. Sunpure says, 20 rupees off on every 1 litre packet you buy. I have got 7 litres at home here, I will go and buy 5 litres and come. This is Indian mentality. You are engineers, you are solving complex problems like a beam column joint. Why not do this? Do this postal computation, pull money and print and send it off. Or talk to your neighborhood company, say we have done this. Can you help us in printing this and distributing it in my community? Now you learnt two things. You learnt how to communicate. You learnt how to raise money. You have completed your social responsibility. Isn't it? I'll tell you when you do this kind of an offer or send WhatsApp message, these days WhatsApp and Facebook are very good. An image of your poster, we need help. Contact so and so. Don't say we need help. Then you talk to that person, we are trying to do this. This is our plan. I'll tell you, individuals will come and pay money. During COVID, I did the same thing for people who had money but they could not afford to go out. Six groups across Bangalore city, we just sent text messages who are well to do with cops. We took permission. They are well to do. They are paid but they cannot go out and buy because of some problem. We started supplying decent kits of two or three items to their homes. Do you know what happened? 70% of whom we dropped the kit there, they paid us back double the amount of money, uh, goods that we gave. And this became a wildfire in ba Bangalore. There are so many people whose children are working abroad, senior citizens, they cannot go out. And suddenly we started getting money from US.